Welcome to Lindivan. We are Sam and Gabby, and with our puppy Basie, we are traveling around Europe in our self converted camper van. So far, we have traveled up to the Arctic Circle, explored the beautiful coast of Norway, and now we are making our way down to the south of Europe. Thank you for following our journey so far. We upload new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel, turn on the notifications, and follow us on Instagram for regular updates on our adventure. It was a hell of a treat. Thank you so much to Paul and all of the guys and gentlemen of Gangsters. It was, uh, yeah, proper good night. So uh, this is uh, Sam Aptelis and we say Gabby and a very difficult Lithuanian. No, 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 not now. This morning, I've been on the phone to a company that supply prop shafts because our prop shaft is buggered, really. Um, it started in England, we uh, replaced the centre prop bearing um, before we left because I thought that's what it was, didn't fix it, didn't have any time to uh, yeah, delve deeper into what it could be, taken it to two garages yesterday and both of them have said that I need a new prop shaft. Well it's actually the universal joints within the prop shaft but you swap out the whole prop shaft. So. They gave me quotes for over a thousand, like one place was a thousand pounds for supplying and fitting the prop shaft, the other place was 1,400 just for supplying the part, but I found a place in Gothenburg that does reconditioned prop shafts, so I'm going to try and go there at 12 o'clock, because I just called and the guy said that he doesn't speak English, but his daughter will be there at 12 o'clock, so I thought instead of calling back, maybe let's just get there in person and try and sort it out. So that's the plan for today. Unfortunately, we wanted to be able to go walk around the town, go to some coffee shops, go record shopping and stuff, but yeah, that's gonna wait. Van's a priority, so uh, yes. Ah, oh, it's so nice to have some good weather, and yesterday was a really hot day, today is still warm. It's just like pleasant, warm, still summer, just last days of summer, so nice. I can't believe I missed the heat and the <laughs> good old vitamin D, but yeah, it's definitely uh, a change from Norway, that's for sure. <laughs> Let's get that aircon on. Okay, so we're on our way to the first place uh, on our list to try and get a new prop shaft. They do reconditioned ones and I'm hoping they might do a discount if we give back the old one as well. So, um, oh, what do I mean? Fingers crossed. Let's go. to this garage which we found um, just on Google that specifically they specifically work on the prof shafts and they do them kind of the whole day so that's their speciality. We went and spoke to them they were such friendly friendly people and um, the guy was from Latvia and they used to live in England so they had like super good English. So initially we went there and we said that I think I need a new prop shaft how much can you do it for? And they, they gave me a price plus VAT, which pretty much turned out to be the same as what one of the garages yesterday, which I didn't 100% trust because he took it for a test drive when he had earphones in on the phone. He was very kindly said, drive it round uh, to like the back area of the garage and I can have a look at it through. He got straight underneath it and he said, yeah, 100% is gone. We can either replace the U-joints or we can replace the whole thing if the other U-joints are going to be on the way out soon, etc. So I said, okay, fine, but it was still very expensive. And then we sort of made our case clear to them that we are in a desperate situation and that we're clearly just, you know, on the road. And then he said, where are you going to do it? I said, well, we've got a friend that's offered a bit of driveway space to do any work on the van if need be, which is true. And he said, look, Come back here with the money, I'll give you the new prop shaft and I'll give you the tools to do it and you can do it here. So hopefully they can take away the old prop shaft and scrap it or recondition it, whatever they want to do with it, that's totally fine by me. 
um, but yeah really really helpful guys we even offered them to get a coffee or something it was so friendly I don't know so far any people we meet here in Gothenburg it's just the nicest people and it's so nice to be, be back be back here again um, yeah so so lovely Finally, we managed to get some cash out. It's always a bit tricky when you've got the foreign card, finding the ATM, figuring out the charges, etc. Got the cash, bought the part, sent just under the van currently. We're in this industrial estate, so it might be a bit loud with all the trucks around and stuff. Um, so I'm just taking the old prop shaft off and soon you're gonna put the new one on. And then all our problems will be solved, right? You got a little oh, hi, buddy. intern there. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lick me! Don't lick me! <laughs> Basie. Oh, face so good. Giving you kisses. Yes. Inconvenient kisses. Oh no. And the prop shaft is out. Hello. Should I take uh, that? Yeah. Oh. Heavy thing. Can you pass me the new one? Yep. Right. Oh yeah, I'm really glad we're doing this now. The guy who specializes, this company specializes in repairing prop shafts, that is their main service. So yeah, the guy said we wouldn't have even made it to Malmö and we thought, oh, maybe we can drive it to Germany and get it done a bit cheaper. But no, he said we would have ended up on a recovery truck if this had fallen off. So it had to be done, you know, as part of the traveling. So the front half is in. I'm just putting in the back half. And here I am in my not so glamorous position. <laughs> now I've just got to bolt this onto the diff. Hopefully you can see that and then we'll be done. I just, just need to torque everything up and then I'll be finished. <laughs> Okay, so all on now, bolted up, torqued up, both ends, centre bearing, all done up. And now this one, done up at the diff too. And I know I've got an oil leak on the diff, but I just keep on top of it. Okay, finally time to crawl out from here like Gollum. Oh, the sun! Made it. All done. Oh man. Oh, we're so lucky that we were able to do this here. Super grateful. Yeah, they even lent me some of their tools and stuff. So yeah, time to pack up and head off. So I just wanted to show you guys exactly what's wrong. This bit in here is the UJ. It's like a cross and it's got a bearing on each of the four points. And it's meant to be able to rotate freely like a knuckle. But this one you can see is totally totally seized up and uh, apart from that it's got loads of play in it um, sort of that way as well so yeah also on the other end this joint isn't too bad but the one on the other end at the gearbox was even worse than that end and uh, yeah but this is the old one they said I can put it in their scrap hopefully they get a few quid for it they've been ever so helpful gave us a discount and everything so yeah Super happy this is done. It's so crazy. We're driving just for the first time after repairing it and there's no funky sounds. It's so, so strange. I feel so smooth. The real test will be when I get up to about 50 mile an hour and we're not being shaken around like a, oh, oh, it's driving like a dream now. Oh. Oh yes, yes it feels nice, very nice. We're gonna go home now I think and dump the van, stick it back in uh, parking space outside Jonas flat and then jump on the tram, go into town, go and do some exploring. It's now four o'clock so uh, yeah, it'd be nice to just relax for the rest of the day, maybe with an ice cream. Oh yes. Or a cold beer or they something. They like the idea of Yes, that. oh yes.
This is unbelievable. I don't remember these ceramic bricks, round ceramic bricks. Glazed as well, so nicely. So gorgeous. Sorry, glazed, yeah, that's what I meant. I mean, they're ceramics. Yeah. They're just glazed. Beautiful. That Blum Blum, stupid Blum Blum, used to be our favorite cafe and it did the best breakfast ever. It was called Otifem, Otifem Onti Six, yeah. and it had the best breakfast buffet in town. Oh, it was unforgettable. Every time I think about Gothenburg, I think about it. But then again, I think about food quite a lot, so. So what a relief to finally have the van sorted. It's nice to know that the van is all done now and uh, it should be reliable for many more miles to come. But uh, yeah, we came home, I did a bit of video editing and uh, we, we took a little stroll into Gothenburg in the evening. It was really nice. Showed Basie around a little bit, took him on a tram for the first time and uh, yeah, just enjoyed the atmosphere of the old town in the evening, it was really lovely. But. Thanks so much to everyone that's joined us in this video. If you enjoyed it, then don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and we'll see you in the next video.